Is Costa Rica a good place to raise kids? More and more families with young children are relocating to Costa Rica with good reason. We asked residents with ranging backgrounds whether or not they thought Costa Rica was a good place to raise children. If you love Costa Rica or want to keep learning about this amazing country, click the subscribe button and be sure to look for the app in Costa Rica in your app store. I think it's a great place to raise kids. Um, it's, it's a healthy lifestyle, uh, not only for kids, but for adults too, because of the climate and it, the eternal summer. You can always be outside, a lot of outdoors activities. Uh, I think that's very healthy for everybody. I would say definitely. I've, I've talked to a lot of parents around here and parents from the United States, and these kids seem so happy, especially running around the beaches here. They have an opportunity to really be out in nature, and, and I had a, an opportunity to grow up in the woods as well, and it just does wonders for your mind and your spirit. And I think it is a really good place. If you have the opportunity to raise kids, just making sure that they have a lot of access to the outdoors here. And yeah, I think it's a wonderful place to grow up. That is hard for me to say, because I mean, we, we don't have kids yet and I don't know anybody with kids in that sense, but I mean, I guess, you know, if, if you have money, I think it's a good place. I mean, because, you know, then you can choose whatever whatever you want. Yeah, totally, 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 totally. Like if you're like on this hippie way of raising kids, it's amazing because you can have them like in the beach and homeschool them and all this. If not, it's also great. It's also great. I grew up here and I wouldn't change it for anything. Absolutely, yes. So um, I recently had a have a, a newborn baby girl, and we're excited about raising her in Costa Rica twofold. I think it's, it's how caring the communities are, but also the quality of the school system, both public and private. Costa Rica is really high up there when it comes to the rating and accreditations of, of the schools. But yeah, Costa Rica is a good place at, in different respects, for sure. Um, the ability to play outside uh, throughout the year is a great one. Uh, people's tradition of being really family-oriented naturally makes them really kid-oriented as well. So there's just a natural love and caring and respect for, for children, uh, which you do find in other Latin American countries especially, but is, is a nice uh, aspect to raising kids in, in Costa Rica? I raised, I raised three here. So yeah, I, I guess I'm kind of biased. Uh, when we moved here in 2001, uh, my daughters were uh, 13, 9, and 2. And so I raised all of them here. My youngest, uh, English is actually her second language because she didn't have any language when she moved here. And then my two oldest daughters uh, uh, that are now in their 30s and late 20s, um, they're, they were raised in the school system here, a combination of public schools and private schools, depending upon where we were at in the country. Costa Rica is an excellent place to raise kids. Yes, I uh, really appreciate being able to be outside a lot. And my kids love being outside. I, you know, we came from Vermont and winter last year was at least six months um, of cold weather. And we had about two months of winter, I mean, two months of summer, which were nice enough for the kids to go outside. And we were so busy in the winters, our kids were just cooped up inside every day they were home. And here, you know, they can go outside in our yard, they can walk. We Right now we have a pool. Um, so it's been really nice to decrease actually the screen time that they usually get. Yes, even though my girls are a little bit older, both my girls have been down here and they love it. But I have a lot of friends and that have younger kids and they thrive in the multiculturalism. They, they thrive in learning the second language at a young age. They, take, they can learn it so quickly. And I think they can learn a lot from the local kids in the community. Um, the local kids compared to North American kids are so quiet and so polite and 
are just happy to have a stick with a rock. You know, they they don't need a new iPhone or anything like that. They're just happy to play with like leaves and it doesn't matter. I think it really depends on what you're looking for. Um, in terms of the country itself as um, a place to uh, explore and enjoy and live in naturally, uh, I don't know what I mean by naturally there, but in terms of the nature that Costa Rica has, um, it's a great place to to bring up children. You know, you can you can everything you need to to see a variety of different places is here. I think in terms of values and educating your children, because of the family oriented nature of Costa Rica, it's a good place as well. There are some many many good values that are transmitted to children here, like respecting elders, for example, being trying to be polite, although it doesn't always happen. <laughs> And um, I, I think that the values are good. In terms of education, if you want to go to a top university, it's going to be tricky, I think, if you bring up kids here. But if you um, if you have the budget for like an international school or a bilingual school, um, you can also gain a very good education here. So I think it depends what you're focused on. Are you focused on well-being, the education, the values? Um, it really depends. I mean, there are tons of options. It all depends where, what exactly do you want? Because if you want to raise your kid in a, like an a environment when he can just play outside the house with other kids of the neighborhood and run everywhere and do their own thing, you know, in a free environment, there, there are some, uh, some areas where they can do that safely. If you are looking more to more, uh, you are, um, if you are more focused on education in regards to sports or any type of, um, let's say, um, what do you say? <laughs> like, uh, are you saying like scholastic activities, like um, uh, or whether it's organized sports, cheerleading, extracurricular exactly. activities? Extracurricular activities, yes. So if you're looking to raise your kids on that type of environment or education, then there is another area, specific areas for that. But it all depends what you want that would be the area that you will have to choose. I would say yes, because I always compare with with uh, with with Belgium, and I think um, people in Costa Rica have um, uh, less luxury than 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 in Belgium, but they seem more happy without all the luxury. Um, and second thing is that um, education is free. Schools are free here in Costa Rica. And <clears throat> in most of the schools, kids wear uniforms. So that's also something to help not to discriminate <clears throat> based on clothing and stuff like this. So, yeah, I think Costa Rica would be a good place to raise kids. Yeah. Um, yes, for sure. Um, it's climbing trees, running around outside. It's, um, they have a little bit more, I think they can still be a little bit more kids and they don't have like a planned life since they, since they are little, like in many places like, uh, in the States or Switzerland or here it's, it's more, um, a little bit more free and walk around barefoot and you know it's I think it's a good a good a good start to life uh, well there is uh, something that you know, I guess you find it around the world here and there but uh, the uh, the extended family um, groups that you find that you don't of course aren't going to be born into that, but can plug into. 
And so I found that where I went. I mean, I seeked it out too. I, I, um, was looking for families like that to uh, work with because I wanted to help people. Well, here's an extended family and like they take me in and then I do a lot of work with them. Yes. And no. <laughs> um, so yes. The funny thing is I've been thinking about that too. So it's a great question. Um, yes. Just in terms, because your kids would be so cultured. I really think so. Like just the whole bilingual aspect of it. So it's really good for like the development and stuff like that. But like in terms of if you come from a big city, if you come from a big city where there's lots of like things to do with your kids, like play groups, um, different activities and stuff, it might be harder to find that hair on the coastline, right? Versus in the city. So maybe San Jose might be better because there's like a little more things to do. But like here in Samra and stuff like that, the smaller towns, like you're limited to like beaches and stuff like that. But I think it's it's good. Like if you want your child to really be um, exposed to like different cultures. Yes. Definitely 100 percent. Um, and why? Because they're raised in nature. They're not raised behind behind a tablet or behind a TV or behind video games. They've got surfing. They've got playing in the dirt, like just playing in nature, the jungle. I like personally, if I ever have children, like this is exactly where I'd want them to be raised rather than anywhere where technology takes over. Absolutely. I think Costa Rica has a culture of community and connectedness that is lacking a little bit in the in the United States. Um, also, the prices of sending your kids to preschool, especially in the States, is astronomically high, as here it's much more reasonably priced. And then if you wanted to get a nanny or some sort of help, you might you might find a lesser hourly rate in that department as well. But the main reason why we moved here is because one, our children will be speaking Spanish and English as well as being outside a lot. And the instruction is much more project based and much more uh, overall development rather than just sitting down and harping on, on academics and a lot of, a lot of children I see in the, in the United States are stressed out, and that's not going to be the case here. It is probably the number one place to raise a kid if you can. Um, as far as coming here as an expat with kids, I can't really voice my opinion on that, I, but I do find it that you know it's a great place to raise kids. I've seen a lot of the expats with their kids here, and they have a blast, and they're, they're cultured, and they you know they respect the they respect nature. Um, as far as having a kid here, it's incredible. Whether you the whether the kid is Tico or not, the first year you are pregnant, they take care of you. They pay all of your doctor bills. They pay for everything. They as long and then for three months after you have the kid, so you are completely 100% taken care of. They treat kids like gold here. Um, they kids they don't mess around. And then after you have the kid, if your kid is Tico, you are your kid is taken care of for 15 years on on um for for the caja for the um what do you call it yeah the caja for the social the social security and all that good stuff for the hospital visits and everything so i mean i've never i i've never experienced anything like that and having a kid here myself it was a great experience i, w I felt safe i felt taken care of and i never had to worry about anything and they give you milk if you need it, they give you things that you need for yourself as a woman to take care of your child, and they promote breastfeeding. So, Check out the full playlist as we ask residents some of the most common questions about Costa Rica. In the top right corner, there's a live poll to share your opinion with everyone. Don't forget to subscribe and try the In Costa Rica app.